So today we are looking at quadratic inequalities. You will have solved quadratic equations in the junior cert cycle and you'll have done it loads of times. So there's nothing new to it except now we're dealing with it as an inequality. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to factorise this. Okay. From your junior cert, you should remember two brackets, x and x. Then we need to decide what goes into these two places. We do have an 8 on the end, so we're going to have to use the factors of 8. So it's either going to be 2 and 4, or 8 and 1. And we want to end up with a 2 in the middle, so the, the ones most likely to give us, or the ones that are going to give us 2 are 4 and 2. So we'll put 4 here, 2 here. Remember, this is all greater than 0. And you can't factorise unless you've got the zero there. So now we need to put in our signs. Because there's a minus here, that means our signs are going to be different. So we're going to have a plus and a minus. We want to end up with a minus two at the end. So the minus goes here and a plus here. When we get this far, there's actually three methods to solving this inequality. For each of these three methods, we will need a solution as if this was a quadratic equation. So for here, x is equal to minus 2, or x is equal to plus 4. So one of the ways that we're going to test this or find the answer is to actually test on a number line. Um, we're just testing different numbers. So we're going to test different regions. This is our first region. This is our second region between the minus 2 and the 4. And this is our third. The minus 2 and the 4 have obviously come from the factorization and the solution here. So let's test minus 3. If we put minus 3 into this um, factorization here, we'll end up with minus 3 plus 2, which is minus 1, and minus 3 minus 7, which is, minus 3 minus 4, sorry, which is minus 7. Minus 1 times minus 7 is going to be a plus 7, which is greater than 0. So this is a positive side, and it does work. We'll test the middle one. So a number between minus 2 and 4. I'm going to take 1. So, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So we've ended up with a 3 times by a minus 3, which gives us a minus 9, which means this region is a minus. That is not greater than 0, so this does not work. For here, the third one, we want to go greater than 4, so let's try 5. Again, putting our 5 into this, 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 minus 4 is 1, 7 times 1 is 7, 7 is greater than 0, this is positive, this works, so our solution is in this region and this region. So x is less than minus 2 or x is greater than 4, okay? You do not want to combine those together in a line. It just gets too confusing, and it's easier for you to make a mistake. Um, I like this method because it's clear, and you can test each side. 